Hello, mate. Hi. How are you doing? Tim, okay. nice to meet you. So, I've noticed here that you guys are using bonding yep. to actually adhere the, uh, the, the components of this chassis together. Why are you gluing them? A, aluminium, so we don't want to be welding them, adding heat. And obviously bonding is very, very strong in shear. And obviously you can see the rivets here, structural rivets, so they, yep. they stop for the peel as well. So when you're talking about shear, so it'd be like having two things stuck together, that's shear, isn't that's it? That's shear, yeah. Yeah, OK. And, and then, then peel, peeling is like that. Trying to pull something off your bedroom wall, something like that. Okay. You know, that's when you're, right. you're peeling things. So looking at this here, so this, the, these are strong in this particular direction, or yes. that direction, yep. as, as, in terms of shear. But what about, well, why do you have these poor bolts in there? Now, these are the structural rivets, so they're, they're stopping it from peeling in an accident, something like this. Right. And also, they're obviously a mechanical location while the glue's drying off. Why, why are you, I mean, resins in comparison to welding, though? I mean, are these resins, these glues actually as good or better than...? Stronger in the surface area, if you imagine under here... Yeah. You've got nearly a 50 millimetre strip by 100 millimetres long, that yep. whole surface area, and we control these gaps, you can see with the ridges, so we allow a nice smooth... Hang on, what are you talking about ridges? What are these ridges? So these will actually allow the, a certain amount of glue, so that if this was perfectly flat, you may not get enough glue in certain locations or adhesive, so these are actually bond control gaps as well. So there's a little, little shelf there, a little line there, so that is, I guess, to prevent the two just sandwiching, there being no glue between. Yeah, you could actually... So you hold them apart? Hold them apart so you can't squeeze it all the adhesive out of the joints. So you guarantee there is a certain amount of adhesive in there? Yes. Why is it orange? A, it's the type of adhesive we're using, but also it's visually, you can see it. So you can actually see, physically, that there's been glue in all of those places. So that's why you go orange. So you yeah. go orange so you can go, right, that's got enough resin glue, that's got enough glue, that's got enough glue, what have you. Yeah, and if you didn't see the orange here, you'd know that potentially there wasn't enough glue in that joint. So, there's, yeah. so the actual seepage is a control mechanism as uh, well. Interesting that you guys have opted for, for bonding. I mean, the, the tube, trains and carriages are glued together, aeroplanes are now glued together. Aeroplane wings. So when you see those, the amount of stretch that they can have, the, the loads going through, our chassis takes all those same loads. And obviously we're not adding weight and complexity as well. Yeah. And it's a lot easier to do. You need to employ qualified, complicated TIG welders. Exactly. And, you know, the components, you know, our chassis is really technical. But you can see they're actually the same chassis. It's symmetrical down the centre. Right. So this is a right or a left-hand drive chassis at this okay. point. Okay. So at this, at this stage, it's not being decided. Not decided. I'm finding it hard computing that this is a glue, because I've been brought up in a world that welds, and now we're using resins and glues to adhere. But, I mean, as you say, and everybody's saying, like, the tube are using it, aeroplane wings are bonded on, it's stronger than welding, isn't it? It's stronger, it's more consistent, and we're not putting the temperatures in. You can't smell glue in this factory and where the chassis are produced, you know? Yeah. It's, it's just a modern take on it. So what is this chassis from? This is from the, the newer leases, right. and it's similar chassis to the Exige. So how has this chassis changed uh, in comparison to the, when it came out as an S1? Fundamentally the same, same architecture, bonding, and it's testament that in 1997 we came up with this technology, it's still as modern today. And with the introduction even of electric vehicles, you know, you see on the road, that weight is a, your killer in a car. And if you can get something this strong and in a modern architecture, and it's so adaptable as well, you know, the extrusions, things like this. So. Well, that's great. Thank you very much for showing me. Okay. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.